Morning guys, um, today I've got a look at this Tado system. It's already been installed by myself. Um, it's been in a while running on this boiler, but there's now a new boiler installed. The boiler's the other side, it's a new valent, and we've gone from a low pressure to a unvented system. So there's a new cylinder been changed. We need to look at the wire in there. We need to look at this programmer here. If I show you on this uh, app, if we put the actual, we boost all the rooms. Our relay on our heating side is working, but with all the rooms off or on, if we put the hot water side on, this light here on the programmer at the end on the right hand side should click in just to say our hot water's working. That's not happening, so. Today I wanna to check through the wiring. Turn that back off. So yeah, today I wanna to check through all the wiring, make sure everything's correct. Um, it's literally had a little a conversion. It was on a three port valve, and now it's on two two port zone valves. So I wanna double check everything. Um, I believe it's this Tado, but maybe I'm wrong. So today we need to find that out. So first stage is I'm gonna remove this programmer strip it all out, um, I want to check what's going on there and then just before I do that I'll take you upstairs and I'll just show you the unvented. So cylinder cupboard, unvented mega flow, I think it's 250 litres, it's the solar eye boost ready one, um, so we, there isn't solar panels yet but there should be solar panels going on soon in a battery storage system. Um, we've got our cylinder stat here, I'll just turn you around and get you so hot water zone valve heating zone valve we can tell that by it coming through the coil here um, the wiring centers up there we have got grab this one we have got this new center to go on um, this came with the cylinder so we're going to be using that um, so yeah strip that out strip downstairs out i want to tone the wires see what's what and what's going on and then uh, rewire the system neater One eternity later. Okay, cylinder's done. That's tidied now and neat, so I'm happy with that. There wasn't anything wrong with the wiring, so we've still got a problem with the hot water not clicking in. Um, I've grabbed the instructions out now. So somehow I think between it running on this, sister, this boiler, the new boiler being installed, I think somehow the actual receiver itself has gone into the uh, combi boiler mode. So we're gonna try and see if we can reset that and put it into, it is the S plan and Y plan mode, which is supposed to be green in color. So let's run through that and see if we can get it working. Right, so it's in its white mode. So let's go down to hot water. There we have it, we're working, hot water's on. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can just hear, hear the water in the air moving, so. That's good, so we're gonna turn that off, I'm gonna go back, and I'm just gonna click straight on boost all rooms. It should turn this relay on. And there is a delay, it's not instant, so to turn it on, turn it off, there's always a delay. Perfect. So we're all done. Tado's working. At a later date, this boiler's being removed. These controls will be going into the garage, so we'll probably show you that when we do it. But as for today, we've ran through this configuration mode, tidied all the wiring up. And now the Tado's working in the dual relay mode instead of the single relay mode. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.